Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So we have a new version of the Firefox web browser, version 114, which is now rolling out. And that started rolling out just a short while ago today on the 6th of June, 2023. Now, um, with version 114, which is now the latest stable release, and um, we have a couple of new features, changes and improvements. We also have a couple of security and privacy enhancements to the browser. And we also get um, those all-important security fixes that do roll out with every major version upgrade. Now, first of all, I'm just focusing on the new features uh, just to dive straight in because there is quite a little bit to get through. Um, the first so-called new feature and change is that um, Mozilla now have um, added DNS over HTTPS settings, which are now part of the privacy and security section of the settings page and now allow you to choose from all the supported modes. So just to demonstrate, if we just head over there quickly by heading to our main menu, clicking on settings, heading to the privacy and security page. And if we scroll down, um, you will now see that section now that's been added to the privacy and security section, DNS over HTTPS. And just a quick recap to, as to what this is all about. DNS stands for Domain Name System. So DNS over HTTPS sends your request for a, for a domain name through an encrypted connection, creating a secure DNS and making it harder for others to see which website you're about to access. And we get the four modes. Um, default protection is turned on by default, obviously, and it says Firefox decides when to use secure DNS to protect your privacy. The next is increased protection. You control when to use secure DNS and choose your provider. Then we get max protection. Firefox will always use secure DNS, and obviously you can turn the feature off where it will use your default DNS resolver. So those DNS um, over HTTPS settings now are now part of the privacy and security page, as we can see. Now, the next um, new feature and change is that um, bookmarks can now be searched from the bookmarks menu. So just to demonstrate, if we head back to the menu and we click on bookmarks, here we get search bookmarks, which is now available as part of the bookmarks menu. And if you have the bookmarks uh, pinned to your actual toolbar, you can get the same from that little um, toolbar button. Here we see search bookmarks, say the, so the same applies. And now um, they've also restricted searches to your local browsing history. Um, and you can do that by heading to history, obviously very similar to the bookmarks and yeah, the search history. So you can now restrict searches to your local browsing history by selecting search history from the history um, library or application menu button. So there we go. That's another little change that's rolling out. And just a quick mention, um, if you are using Firefox on Mac, um, you can now capture video from your camera in all supported native resolutions. This enables resolutions higher than 1280 by 720. So just take note of that. A nice little improvement rolling out for Mac users. I'm using the Firefox on Mac OS. And um, for the next, it's now possible to reorder the extensions listed in the extensions panel. So to demonstrate, if you have the extensions button um, in the toolbar, uh, if we just open that up and you right click, you can now move down as an example. Uh, you can move up so you get the idea. You can now uh, reorder the extensions listed in the extensions panel. And then uh, just two quick mentions and before we have a look at the security fixes. Um, if you are using Mac OS, once again, users on Mac OS, Linux and Windows 7. So on those three platforms can now use Fado 2 web authenticators over USB. Um, and Mozilla says some advanced features such as fully passwordless loggings require a PIN to be set on the authenticator. So that's a bit of a, a change rolling out for those three platforms, Mac OS, Linux, and Windows 7. And then if you are using Pocket in Firefox, Pocket recommended content can now be seen in France, Italy, and Spain. So that recommended content for Pocket has now been added to those three regions, France, Italy, and Spain. And um, to double check if you have this update, because we are also dealing with important security fixes that have rolled out, and we head to the main menu once again. This time we click on help, then we click on about Firefox, and the latest version now, version 114, as mentioned, which rolled out earlier today on the 6th of June. And then if you click on what's new, um, as many of you may know, this will take us over to uh, the release notes. And just to scroll down um, to where we get the all important various security fixes that have rolled out. And for this um, version upgrade, version 114, we only get 
four security issues and four security fixes that have rolled out. And out of the four uh, security fixes that, are, that have rolled out, three of those are high risk and carry a high impact warning. So that's your second highest after a critical. So important security fixes rolling out. And as we can see, as I scroll up and down, you can see that um, what those um, security fixes are all about. So four security fixes rolling out, three of those are high risk. So if you're not interested in any changes, at least just double check that your browser is up to date uh, because it is your first line of defense and that will upgrade you to the latest version and also patch those security flaws in the browser. And just on a side note, the next major version upgrade, version 115, will be rolling out on the 4th of July. That's next month. 2023. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.